What's going on, y'all? It was time to say goodbye to the uh, stock XRC seats. They aren't good, but I don't think they're the worst thing in the world. But I ordered up the Aces. Uh, this really couldn't pass up the deal. They was having an overstock sale, and uh, for five hundred and forty bucks, pretty much, uh, I got the mounting brackets and the seats. I know a lot of people there, you know, tell you they're not as good as PRP. Triple X, uh, you know, some of the bigger name brands, Simmons. But hey, for 500 and something dollars plus the brackets and shipping everything to the door, I mean, they're, I'm giving them a shot. So far, just sitting on them, they're comfortable. I mean, I'm a little aggravated with uh, them for not sending me everything that was supposed to come with them. Let's see here. The. Uh, let's see my focus there we go your cross brace right there right there that supports between that side of your mounting bracket and this side right here they did not send uh, uh, I mean excuse me they did not put the rib nuts in one side of each bracket the driver's seat and the passenger well, uh, my, uh, my interior brace did not have the rib nuts in it. So I wound up having to go to O'Reilly's and uh, got the little tool and got me a package of rib nuts and uh, put them in there myself and was able to finish getting the seat installed. I mean, it ain't terrible. Once it's like anything else, I've never done the seats before in any of my side by side, so this was the first time to... Uh, um put any in so i admit you know the first seat took me a little while but second seat went in and i don't know 30 40 minutes or less but i thought they'd feel a little softer but they're definitely more comfortable here and here as i'm sitting in them i can't give a final judgment yet i want to take it on a good ride and all that but we'll see you know, see what I think about it, you know, after that point. This seat went in a whole lot easier. Like I said, this one was a whole lot faster here. And let me add this. You can do it however you want to. The, the, certain people is going to tell you that you can and take the bracket, put it together. It comes, you know, in your side braces and your support. And then you got uh, two bolts here and two bolts here. And like I said, that's where they left the rib nuts out of mine. They also left out four of my mounting bolts to go in the seat. So I wound up having to find some of my own around here. And I used washers nut, they're machine metal screws. And uh, it ain't gonna focus on them. But yeah, it's supposed to be a gold bolt. Well, they also left out four of my bolts. Four bolts and four rib nuts in the brackets. But anyways, back to how you can mount them. Um, I actually did that one, what I feel is the hard way, the driver's seat. I mounted the bracket to the seat, got it all together, and then put it in there. Well, the problem with that is, is it's harder, in my opinion, to get a good square alignment, you know, because maybe you did or maybe you didn't get it on there the, quite straight on the seat, the base of the seat. So this one, I simply yanked the stock seat out, and I put my other bracket together. And I bolted the bracket on top of the rollers and the seat mounts. And then, dude, 10 times easier. I just set the seat in there, you know, put one in, one in, one in, and tighten them all down. Way easier. Do it how you want. But I would simply bolt the uh, uh, mounting kit, the seat mounting kit, to your rollers and then just set the seat on it and bolt it down. That was 10 times easier to me. Everything works as it should. Let's see if I just kept it unlocked. No, may not be able to do it holding this phone. But the roll I didn't test it, it rolls fine. All that works as it's supposed to. But they look good. I like them. Just a little disappointed, you know. I'm probably gonna email them and let them know, hey, you know, not only did you leave out four rib nuts, you left out four of my mounting bolts. But like I said, everything rolls. The rollers still work fine. So can't wait to take it on a ride. We're going to test them out here in a little bit and see how they feel to me. 
and uh and go from there got some tires and rims coming hopefully maybe monday tuesday wednesday maybe monday tuesday one of the two and uh get them bolted on i'll make a video with them as well and last thing i'll add is going to be uh probably some mts off-road springs but uh like i said it's pretty self-explanatory the instructions let me show you all that too i think i may have put them in the aces box unfortunately they don't give you much this is what you get so whatever but i still like them that's all fine and dandy but i mean it's pretty simple i'm gonna tell you right now just yank your stock seat out leave your uh sliding roller and your mounts uh bolted in i would loosen the front so you can get a little wiggle because see i had two and a half inch spacers already in the factory seats because i don't like leaning that far back now i did take the two and a half inch spacers out because these seats sit about an inch and a half to two inches up on the mounts anyway so i left the factory spacers in and uh and when i installed the driver's seat i looked across between when i still had the passenger's factory seat in with the two and a half inch spacers and they were even so if that gives you a little guidance they'll help you they send you these little i think they call these one inch spacers don't look like quite an inch to me but whatever um but i didn't use them at all because they using the factory one with the way the aces mounts uh fit they were dead even with my factory seat with the two and a half inch or excuse me two inch spacer but um we'll see how they work thank y'all for watching and uh i'll catch y'all when i get my tires and rims in and we'll go from there